What's up everybody and this is Danny and I'm going to show you how to fix the notification light problem or the bug that is plaguing people on the Xperia Z. And I've had to dig into some forums, XDA, different things like that to figure out why my notification light wasn't working. And I think I know exactly where it is and this method is to be proven to work. Now the thing they found is that if you backed up or restored an account when you first started up the Xperia Z, put in your Google password and things like that, your account, and said go ahead and restore and back up, that is what I think it was causing this bug. And hopefully they'll push this in a firmware update and it'll just be fixed anyway, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So go into your settings and go ahead and find the backup and reset. And you can back up all your apps and things if you want to, but see that backup my data? That is usually checked on. So make sure you check that off. Take that backup my data completely off of there. Just check it one time. And then you can do your factory data reset from here. So that was the cause, I think, because it worked for me. As soon as I did this, my notification light started working. So all you do is then factory reset from here on. And for me, I actually, I kept all my stuff on there. I didn't even reset the internal storage. I just reset the phone and it worked just fine. Maybe you have to still erase all the contents of the phone, but for the, the internal storage, I did not do. All I did was just restore it and let the phone do its thing. So the biggest thing is to make sure when you restart the phone and you go through the whole setup process, make sure you don't let it restore your apps again make sure you install everything manually and just go through it like that where you set it up kind of as a new phone and you should not have a problem with it at all i hope sony pushes out a firmware update to fix this right away so if if you don't want to dig into the forums and things i thought i'd make a video about it because i had to kind of dig in and figure it out but after restoring works just fine just sent myself an email And there is the notification light working. It's great because it's a multicolor LED and it's awesome and you should definitely have it working. So let me know, guys, did this work for you? Um, it worked for me on first try. So that's a great thing. I've read that sometimes it doesn't work. So go ahead and try to do it again, maybe with the internal storage erased as well and just kind of factory reset the whole thing. But it worked for me. It was a pretty easy step. So let me know if this worked for you. And there you go. I just sent myself two emails and it definitely works fine. But the multicolor LED is awesome on this phone and you should definitely have it working. So, all right, give me a thumbs up if this video helped you. And please subscribe to my channel for I have a lot more Xperia Z coverage and a lot of other videos that might help you as well. Thanks for watching.